Good afternoon. My name is Nick Ferrand and this is Abode Italian Property. Uh, these are property virtual tours which we do for you in one take. And today I'm in Tuscany and I am looking at the most amazing castle. Uh, it's, we're going to have such a good time today. Honestly. Okay, so what have we got here? We've got a castle which is called the Castello de Neve. It dates back to uh, 1117, uh, which is absolutely phenomenal. Uh, if you look up though here, here you can see uh, a later addition on the windows um, and then there's another one just over here. Um, and if we uh, just pull around, I can show you some of the work which has been going on and some roof repairs um, into the stables. I'm just going to come outside so we can get an idea of what, what we're doing again today. Look at these fantastic gates. Oh my God. Look. I pull back. It's just incredible. You're just going to have such a good time. Okay, so what have we got? So we walk through the gates. Um, there's a chapel, uh, which I'm going to show you, which is all the way down here. You just see there's my car. Uh, we might go and just show you the building. And what have we got? We've got uh, some building work going on. This is uh, on the market for, and you've asked me this question, I'm going to tell you, uh, 995,000 euros, and you will need to spend that again if you want to bring it up to scratch. Look at the size of that tree. Oh, God. Let's look at the size of it. I can't even get my arms around it. Just give that, oh, give that, oh, you feel that? I'm just going to give that a big old hug. Uh, this is a evergreen oak. Uh, it's got to be over 200 years old. It's just the most phenomenal thing. Right. Let me just show you the view. Come on, let's uh, get over here. Okay. Look at that view. I'll just stand on this wall for a sec. Let's, let's not fall off. Right, right over there, I've got mountains with the snow on, and that's the Apennines. Um, 17 kilometres to Cortona, taking the country road. Um, oh, God, sorry, jumped down there, camera wobbled, <laughs> tripped over a log. What have you got here? You've got extra barns. Uh, no horse, but you've got your buggy. There you go. That's been there. You're going to be amazed by this place. It's just a piece of outstanding architecture. Right, come on, let's go in. Here we go. All right, so here are the front doors. Knock, knock. Lovely little lion. In we go. Right, and... Uh, it's quite dark when we come in here. You can see the light is blowing out. So I'm going to actually walk up and then we're going to look around. Look at the architectural detail on this. Can you see that? And look here on this one as well. Let's get up here a little bit. Let's pull around it. Everywhere you look, there's history. You see that? Flying buttress between the two. There's another one which is above me right now. Come over here, let's have a look at that. Just, this is a mammoth project. Absolutely mammoth. Let's just get in here. I'm gonna turn my light on. I've only got a dinky light, but as you might get some light in here. Right, now, we'll come through the uh, castle front door and then uh, you come into uh, the stable areas in here. Here we go. Uh, I just, <laughs> I'm gonna turn this on for you. I just want you to see that, just plug that in. Ah, right, light goes on. Ah. 
train set. Not just a train set. Just a, a monster of a train set. But look up if I pull up here, look. Nine hundred years old. I just come down here. You see that? You just see the way the flooring has, over the years, been worn away. And if I come over here and I show you this kind of nook that you would, uh, the stonework is phenomenal. We just, it's got some new electric system which has been put on there. Right, goodbye, try. I love the fact that they've got the uh, Florence Duomo in the middle, which is uh, pretty wild. Okay, so, moving on. I'm going to do the downstairs. There's just so much to do, I don't know. I'm just going to give you a kind of... Look, this would have been a cantina. And... Uh, let's pull back in here. I'm going to pull round... I quite like that. You see up there? there it's like a chicken coop, but uh, above ground. And I personally think that was for uh, birds, to keep birds in and pigeons. Maybe you would eat. Oh, God, look at me. Look, I pull up from the door. Uh, can you see here? Look. The symbols on there. Wait till you see the fireplace. Okay, so going further afield, you come up through this entrance and uh, then you've got another whopping cantina uh, full of stuff. But uh, let's get into the main event and have a look at the house. Right. It is lived in, part of it at this moment in time. And uh, I'm going to pull in here. Over the years it's been modified. And where are we going to go? Uh, this counted lever staircase, which I'm going to show you in a moment, was put in in 1916. And I think that um, the Gothic windows, which I showed you from the outside when we first looked at the uh, facade, uh, they were a later addition. I think that that actually happened at that time. I might turn the light off, actually. Oh, it's pulsating now. Sorry about that. All right. Okay, so, all right, so one room coming in. Uh, they look like they are 60s tiles and as we go through the house you're going to see um, loads of history bits and pieces uh, the uh, owners of this house uh, are friends of mine and uh, this is really just you know a film set actually um, we bought the one and only Mr Fantastic James Darcy here and uh, he's just made a film um, and he was looking for a location we bought him here and thought he might use this location for the new film that's just come out, um, which is great. Uh, this is a wood-burning um, oven and uh, stove. Um, Catherine Denver is the most amazing artist. Look at her work, some of her work here. Uh, if you want to check out more of her work, you need to uh, go to Saatchi online and uh, there will be... Uh, more information on Catherine. Uh, I just love her work. I think it's just great. Okay, look at this. Uh, gothic. All right, I think this is a later edition. I'm going to pull out here. And as I've told you many times before, um, the camera has done its thing. Look at the view. <laughs> I'm going to come down here. I'm going to show you the uh, water island railings. You know, they look 19th century, actually. Um, you know, they're kind of mid-1800s to me. Uh, yeah, I just I think that's about right. Come back in. I pull around here. Uh, I'm going to go back out into the hallway. There's quite a cold breeze which is blowing out from there. And then uh, I'm going to come up and uh, I'm going to walk into this room because uh, it's just... Uh, no, I'm just going to go in here for a second. Um, if I pull forward and the camera will do its thing and you come onto this really fantastic terrace, if I pull back, then you can get an idea of this room coming back here. 
Look at that, if we move a view. Isn't that beautiful? Right, but mm, are you ready? There was a mm there, so I can maybe not try to not do too many ums today, but look at that fireplace. 15, seven, 1570. And um, if you uh, know a little bit about Renaissance history, that if I pull up here, uh, you can see the uh, six balls of the crest of the Medici family. Um, the owners have said that basically it was not owned by the Medici family, but uh, the fireplace was put in and uh, potentially um, the Medici crest was carved into the fireplace to show allegiance to the family. Um, so where they come and this is how it would have originally been look at it I, you would have had this thing over here you see this here with the metal coming across you've had your fire lit here you've got your pot going on uh, it's fantastic a bit more of Catherine's work uh, as I said I think she's an amazing artist and uh, you can look at her stuff online at uh, Saatchi Online I think that's a .com not a .co .uk or something else it's a labyrinth of rooms and, you know, it's a kind of hide and seeks paradise. What's that down there? Oh, look at those tiles on there, look. Oh, they're just absolutely gorgeous. They're hexagonals, which are just, you know, impossible to find. And then you come into this room here and then you look up and you've got this amazing woodwork, which has been painted over the years. and. You know, what can I say? Just, just beauty. Oh, I can see beauty. That's uh, what I can see. Right, here, off we go. I'm going to come down, back down the stairs again, and I'm going to show you. I'm just going to show you for another time this fireplace, because I mean, that is really something that you don't see every day. Oh, it's just just totally totally awesome right pulling back out of that room beautiful uh, view which I can see for the window and then we are going to go up the stairs so let's go up slowly uh, how do I know that uh, this staircase is 1916 uh, uh, it's because it says it just there uh, you know in this kind of masculine uh, Italian way and uh, it's all cantilevered uh, which you would find um, very you know Victorian property must have been incredibly difficult to do at the time uh, wrought iron balustrade which is going up I'm just going to pull over and uh, personally I think that you know it was all the fashion at that stage to have these windows and they would have actually changed the window design uh, to uh, go with the fashion right I'm going to start at the top right at the top this building needs a brand new roof it's not for the faint hearted and uh, let's let's go in and have a look here hey, you've got a photographic studio uh, which is fantastic this uh, has had uh, quite extensive amount of uh, building restoration work done to it uh, you've got a marble fireplace which is put in. It needs flooring, and uh, this is jolly nice though. If we come down here, beautiful arch, which is here. I can hear a pigeon cooing above, and then you come further back. Uh, this is what's called in Italy a grezzo which means that basically the uh, roof has been stabilized uh, that's all been sandblasted uh, no lovely woodwork and uh, look at the uh, look at the terracotta tiles are just uh, stunningly beautiful you know the patina on them are just gorgeous and so it's basically all the plaster is hacked back off uh, concrete screed is poured and poured on the floor really it's just a question of uh, you know, fitting it out. Um, right, let's have a look and continue around there. Got the Union Jack. Uh, somewhere to thrash on your uh, 
on your drums and then you've got another fireplace in here so this really needs plastering I and mean, you could keep if you wanted to and I would probably say yes let's keep it but you know uh, you could just repoint uh, all this beautiful stone uh, uh, brickwork here and then plaster on the sides and then choose your flooring I think that's brilliant and then if we come across here and we're going to go out through the door onto the landing again in the staircase and then looking down over your counter levered stairs let's see if I can pull the camera down uh, and it should be okay right fine moving on All right, so I'm back down now into the first floor and I'm going to pull around. I'm just going to pop in here. Are you all right, George, if I come in? Go ahead. Right, thanks very much. Excellent. So now we're now on the first floor um, and lovely high ceilings here. Whopping gorgeous chandelier and uh, I'm just going to pull over and show you the view from uh, the window. We're on the north side now. And then you've just got this uh, phenomenal view, which is looking down and over the uh, Nestor Valley. Uh, to the left, there's a road right at the bottom, and that road will take you to Castellon Florentino, a uh, beautiful town in Tuscany. I'll pull through here, and um, there you can pick up a train and you can get to Florence in about an hour and a half. Look at these tiles. I've got to pull down so you can see them. Look at those. Aren't they fantastic? They are just gorgeous everywhere. You've just got this amazing architectural detail. Oh God, I love those. Fantastic. Right whopping big wardrobe that's not getting out of here in a hurry and then if I pull the camera up here look you've got the original frescoes that you can still see you might be able to uh, preserve some of that if you wish uh, they're very good we've got fantastic people in Italy for preservation as you would expect right coming down and going through here again Thanks, George. I'll leave it alone. Okay. Right, um, now you've got... I'm just going to come around here. Pop into here. Oh. There you go. Library. Again, uh, you've got very nice terracotta flooring. Uh, a really nice space in here double doors which open out and uh, into a bedroom really it just needs to be reconfigured look you've got this here I think basically that at one point on the other side where we were before uh, I expect that would have been a door going through um, and then you've got a very old school bathroom uh, which is in here this definitely looks like it's been uh, done in the 50s you know wherever you turn there is basically periods of uh, of design and architecture and features it's just phenomenal I just absolutely love it oh, I can see what can I see I can see that pigeon all right okay fine right down we go um, look you know this, this has got to come off right? I can feel it it's spongy you know but you know it's a it's a restoration, isn't it? That's what you're getting involved in. You're getting involved in 900 years of history to create your just fabulous castle in Tuscany. I really like the staircase. You just want to do something here. You could have some fantastic chandelier, which is pulling back. Right, now then, I'm gonna go into their living quarters. Just I'll pull in here. Okay, so you've got this beautiful long hallway. Uh, where are we now? Uh, we are basically on the south wing. And um, 
I'm not going to go in all the bedrooms for privacy, but uh, I'm just going to walk down this beautiful corridor. And uh, sorry to disturb you, everybody. Right. I will only be a mo. And then we come into here, into the kitchen. Uh, and again, really, you know, I actually haven't seen these before. They're hexagonal, but they're much smaller. They're really lovely. And then you come here out. You've got this tree and you've got this just amazing view over the Tuscan countryside. Right, what can I see? I can see uh, beautiful tiles, beautiful beams all along here, beautiful woodwork, a really nice wood burning stove, uh, which is doing its stuff and it's on. I'm just going to close that door. Thank you. Right, here we go. I'll keep on going. Back along here. And then back out onto the first floor. Now I'm going to take you downstairs and we're going to uh, have a look at the, uh, the uh, south side of the house. And uh, so you can see what an amazing place this actually is. <laughs> oh. It's a it's a film set. It's uh, it's it's just it's just dreamy, you know. If, if anybody wanted to come and you know sell their two bedroom central London apartment and go, okay, all right, I had that, done that, but now I'm going to do this, you know. And uh, this is really a once in a lifetime opportunity. <laughs> Almost fell flat on my face. Come on, down we go. Right, here we go. What can I hear? I can hear a cuckoo. What else can I hear? Birds. Bird song. Look, I'm going to pan up. Isn't that just amazing? Uh, okay, so if I pan over to the right hand side, the boundary line here is where you can see it's been pointed. I'll get my hand out of the way and tell you sorry about that. This is also included, and that's where the buggy was in that room. Another storage room there. And then this is a two bedroom apartment, which has a separate entrance from outside of the gates. The tree is just unbelievable. Look along here, look. Look at the stonework. <laughs> look, and details everywhere here. Oh, the wisteria is just about to come out. I just see the first signs of it there. And then I'm gonna pull back over here. Yeah, those metal railings, I mean, those wrought iron railings, I mean, that's basically, it's got to be uh, mid-19th century. Right, if I pull back up, that's the terrace that we uh, that came out of, and I showed you that little room, which was in red, which we originally saw. And then going further up, um, you can see that basically some of the guttering here, um, they've patched it at this stage, but uh, they want to basically move into uh, a city. Um, and that's the reason why they want to sell uh, and uh, I think that uh, you know it's time to move on and uh, let somebody continue the work which is here what have I got up here I've got this little look even on the oh, I'm coming up these little, little stairs here oh can you see that there must have been another other entrances and then oh I can actually go up there so I'm gonna I'm gonna go up here everywhere you walk everywhere you walk it's it's like a fairy tale you know it's, it's where you go look at the detail uh, oh. see the metal work on here uh, these are kind of earthquake tiles but I've actually ties but I've never seen them like that before and uh, 
Look at the architectural detail on the door. They would have had shutters at some stage. I can see here. Uh, I can see that there. And uh, I just, uh, it's just fantastic. It's just such a privilege to, to come and uh, take you with me on this particular tour. Right, so we're back, right? Back inside, we've done a little tour of the house, we've been outside, we've done the architectural uh, details, we've done this, which I'm gonna show you for a third time, because, you know, it's like you're buying history. 1570, 1570 fireplace, look. You could have basically a lovely kitchen down here and big dining room and, you know, basically have your own cantina and other bits and pieces. I'm sure there's other things which we haven't been able to show you, um, kind of little bits, but uh, now I'm back out of the castle. I'm gonna pull around and we're gonna go around and have a look um, and down uh, at the chapel. So I'm gonna pull around here. And I'm just gonna show you. Look. I mean, it's... Uh, Look at the shape of it, the way it's designed. It's me. I mean, it's telling you, look, you know, I'm a castle. That's what I am. You know. Oh, it's just really weird the way that that's been done. It's just, I mean, it's so masculine in a way. It's austere. It's, oh, it's just, just wonderful. Right now, when I mentioned to you at the back of the house, it's got my car in the way. I'm terribly sorry about that. But basically here, um, there is the two bedroom apartment, which is going along here. Um, and the door is just over here. And uh, I'm going to walk down and uh, show you the chapel, which is included. And it's also included this little bit of land. Um, let's go down and have a look at that. Well, Castello Nevi, uh, what, what an amazing, an amazing piece of architectural history that is. Look at that nice shadow which is on the door of uh, of the chapel. Here we go. So the chapel door open. I'm just going to get in there. Uh, oh. There. Uh, I'm not quite sure if it's uh, uh, consecrated or deconsecrated. <laughs> Another video at Col de Soli the other day. Uh, I couldn't say the word deconsecrated. Uh, and uh, then I found myself uh, in a bit of a pickle, so I apologise for that as well. If anybody's watched that video, uh, just there you are, your own little church, and uh, uh, you've got your original uh, bowl for your holy water. I'm just going to close this door. Uh, this section of property, which is owned by uh, English people, uh, they've done an extremely beautiful restoration project and uh, they are in England at this moment so I'm just, just going to walk back up and uh, say my goodbyes uh, my name is Nick Ferrand, I'm the founder of Abode uh, Italian Property uh, if you want further information on this I can send you floor plans and uh, details and give you some idea of spec and everything else oh, that cat no. Um, the details for this property will be found uh, in the description which is below so just uh, you know click down and you'll see it and then you can uh, basically have a look at further information if you want other imagery just uh, send us an email at info at abodously.com and our website is www.abodeitaly.com I really hope that you've enjoyed this video as much as I have done making it it's uh, it's an architectural gem, uh, waiting for somebody to fall in love with. Right, thanks so much, and uh, I hope you join me soon on uh, another Italian property tour. Thank you. Bye bye.